Jump into the mother shoe Oh, can I say something? Yeah. So uh, earlier this morning, I went to pick up some groceries and um, I saw this guy, like I was walking down the street and I saw this guy, uh, he was running, he was wearing a suit, like a three piece suit, like dude looked great. Like he, <laughs> he, he looked amazing. I and he was that. like running and he was holding flowers and uh, a box of chocolates. And like he was smiling, like the biggest smile of joy. And he was like running and he ran past me. And like, I just kind of stopped and I looked back at him, like just looking at him go. And I was yeah. like, I think this guy is like living a season finale moment. Yeah, that's yeah. what it looks like. You know, you know? what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, he's, yeah. he's gonna get her. He's you know gonna, gonna get, get the girl. Her. The he's window gonna... is open. Yeah. yeah, get the girl. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought he's, and I was like, man, I, I wish I had like a, a season finale moment like this. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, I'm like, dude's waking up thinking it's February 15 or something. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he messed up. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> shit, shit, I forgot, <laughs> gotta run. <laughs> Uh, hi, hi everybody! Welcome back to the Mothership ASMR edition. That's a joke. We're never doing that. <laughs> I am Dylan, aka your friendly space ninja, and as always, I am joined by the commander himself, Bruno, and of course, Amanda the Jedi. Yo. Why not Amanda the Sith? That's my question. Um, mm. It's really funny because I yell so much that that's probably what I should be. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know. Like I, I picked the name when I was like 15 and I've just been using it ever since. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah. like it's been Good like your, you. that was your gamer name? No, like it was just like, I, I don't know. It was just like some name that I wanted to like use online and stuff. So then I just like made it my Instagram and stuff. But then my YouTube channel actually had a different name because my friend convinced me to use something else, which was way stupider. I hate it. Um, yeah. But then I just went, when I brought my channel back and like five years ago and decided to like start making videos again, I was just like, yeah, let's go with the Man of the Jedi. That works. Oh, yeah, that works. Sketchy. It really does. Yeah. Sketchy. And it's it really like, uh, it matches, it's syllable matching. So like Amanda the Jedi works better than Amanda, Amanda the, the Sith. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It it's flows like better. three and three. Yeah, it flows better. Amanda, yeah. the, Jedi, Amanda the, Jedi, the Jedi. Yeah. I hate it though and I'm stuck with it. Jedi the now. Amanda. Oh, you hate it? Yeah, it's, I don't hate it, but it's just like, I feel like it gives you a very different impression of what my channel's going to be and then you get there yeah, and it's yeah. like... You should do like a, a secondary channel that's just you going on rants and you call it Dark Side Amanda. Yeah, I've, oh. I used to do um, Sith talk. <laughs> no, <laughs> no way! Instead of shit talk. No, so, like, that's awesome. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, that's actually yeah. Awesome. That's but yeah there's so many options. So many branding options, really you know? Yeah. 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 True, true question, though. If the Force was real and you had the Force, do you think you could actually trust yourself to not fall to the dark side? Mm. Like feeling the pull of the dark... I'd like to think so. I probably I'd be a gray Jedi. Like I don't want to do all of, like because the Jedi are also horrible. Yeah, yeah, they you know, suck, like they're yeah. really bad and like they steal kids and yeah. you know <laughs> for their army. Yeah, the, the prequels really <laughs> make the Jedi look like more of a cult than just heroes yeah, of the know, galaxy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So you know, like I'd be a gray Jedi, I'd just off doing my own thing, a little yeah. bit of moral ambiguity here and there, but like you know, mostly not shitty. Yeah, right. oh, yeah. so the Soka type. Yeah, like there the you go. Favorite. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like just okay. like that, you know. Cute. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I think I think I'd go through a period of time where like I would really like succumb to the fall of like the call of the dark. I can see that about and, you. And then and then uh, <laughs> with, with the red light. I'm on not your sure face. what that means. I'm but joking. I'll, no, it's like you get the red glasses right now and just oh, like yeah. the whole like all the aesthetic and you look great in black. So it's just yeah. like you know, whole, it's all, it all works yeah. out. Yeah, <laughs> but I think I think eventually I'd come back. I'd probably like have an arc where then something would happen to an old friend and I would have, have to, to have go back to the arc. light to save yeah. them. Yeah, redemption sure. arc. I just don't want to be that hateful all the time. So like I don't want I don't want to be on either side. Yeah, you it's know? a lot of hatred to fall to the dark too. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, it takes up a lot of energy. It's so much yeah, energy. Yeah. It's so, so much so energy. Thick. Like, I already yeah. wake up tired after an eight-hour night of sleep, so. I'm yeah, good, yeah. I think I'm just Plus, gonna... did you see what they look like when they fall to the dark side? Yo, Bro, but they look the, like uh, vampires. Yeah, they still look like vampires. Pretty, though. Yeah. The eyes look fire. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. fucking like red or black or whatever. Yeah, like, um, like Anakin's eyes when he goes dark and shit. They go yellow. They go yeah. yellow. Yeah, they remind me of uh, the demon in Evil Dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is true. Yeah. Same eyes. Maybe mm -hmm. it was an inspiration. No, I don't know. Which came first? Sith, definitely. Evil Dead. Well, well Sith, but Evil Dead. Evil Dead. The movie would have been before Anakin's eyes went yellow. Yeah, true. true but true. I don't know if they did that in the original, or no, if they only they did that like in uh, the new one. Oh. Uh, no, his question. eyes weren't yellow. I don't remember anymore because they've done so many changes to the original movies that it's hard to remember what was there first yeah, and what yeah. they added yeah, yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Today I wanted to do something chill, 
So I went on a Ask Reddit, cool, which is uh, something that I love to do because I just read on for hours mm -hmm. that and like the yeah the relationship advice subreddit and am I the asshole? I love am I the asshole? That's yeah, my am shit I the right asshole now. It's just, it's just it's fake as fuck. It like, is. Most of the stories are fake. Oh yeah, as and well. like I don't uh -huh. even read answers half the time. I'm like, what bullshit have you concocted yeah. today? Let's go. <laughs> Who's writing a novel next yeah, year? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but I went on Ask Reddit because I just I went to bed late working on a video and i was just like i needed a moment to just turn my brain off slowly mm -hmm. and i just want to ask reddit and i was like you know what i could take some of the most interesting questions and just bring them to the podcast and we can discuss them because uh, there's some good stuff in there there's some really good stuff so here's the first question that <laughs> i think is funny as you get older what's something that becomes increasingly annoying Back pain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one. Uh, that's one. I don't know about annoying, but like the older I get, the more teenagers scare me. Not that, yeah. not online, like whatever mm. online, but if I have to see them in person, I'm like, oh God. Yeah, you, I you know. You are going I to know. judge me. You think I'm a loser. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm old. Yeah, exactly. Terrifying. I'm starting to spin out of it. Now I'm starting to be like, oh, whatever. But there was like, I used to work in a gym. It was near a high school and they would walk through because it was in a bigger arena and they'd walk through to like get to food and stuff so they didn't have to walk outside. Oh, yeah. And I would just be like, oh, please don't come in here. Please don't come in here. Please don't come in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, teenagers are kind of terrifying. Sometimes. Yeah, because, because, yeah, they're, they're like, ruthless, they're they like in care. a yeah. rebellious phase. So like you, you just feel threatened around them. Yeah, it's like yesterday we had to walk by some kids on an escalator. And I was like, how old are they? Oh, you're oh, like yeah, middle yeah. schoolers. Get out of here. Because yeah. they're just being done. They were being really dumb on the escalator. So I was just mad at them. Yeah, I'm like, I know, if you're yeah. teenagers, you're going to, you don't give a shit. You're going to say something and I don't want to have to punch a kid yeah, yeah. i know i know oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, if you're mean enough to hate your parents imagine what you do to me that's what yeah. i mean you know <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. no, man, I'm good. <laughs> close the door mom Jesus. <laughs> god leave me alone <laughs> i don't understand i think i think that's when like yeah the, the kids we saw at the mall yesterday i think i think that's when you get into the the inner clint eastwood where you're like get off my like, yeah. exactly you, know, you just fucking exactly but it's just like the older i get the more that like the the my chemical romance song just like teenagers scared the living shit out of me yeah yeah, yeah. i'm like yeah and i think it sucks because <laughs> that's when you're like oh kids today <laughs> yeah, like, fuck, how old I are know. we? Yeah, you always tell yourself you're not going to be that type of person when you become an adult and then you're just you see teenagers and you're like how the fuck how how yeah. that's so annoying uh yeah to me it's being tired all the time oh my god yeah being tired yeah. like i feel like i was always tired all the time but i don't really know. no I had maybe so, not my my, inert, my energy as a teenager was just so much bigger but now the older, oh, no. like i'll go to sleep and sleep like a baby for nine hours and i wake up exhausted <laughs> yeah that's um, true it's i had so a annoying. i had a well i have i have a b12 division c that didn't get diagnosed when i was in high school i was tired like all the time didn't matter how much sleep i got if i got the remotest bit excited like even at a school dance like i would just be dead the next day to the point that my mom was like are you like drinking like are you on drugs <laughs> um because it would just destroy me so like once i got that in line i got like way more energy so it's like i can't compare to what i did not get to reap the benefits of my energetic teen years oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah okay right, were you like a energy drink kind of teenager mm, no there's always those teenagers that are always with the fucking red bull yeah exactly like that. yeah no like during exams and shit yeah, true. Jesus. And they're just like, I think the most, the, you remember um, Balls, like the B-A-W-L-S drink? It was an energy drink. They, they used to sell them at my school for some reason. And then I think they realized that it was actually an energy drink and they shouldn't. Like it was Garana based. <laughs> oh, wow. okay, it kind of yeah. just tastes like Sprite, but with like okay. a little bit of like oomph. Okay. So I used to drink that every now and again. Um, but other than that, like, no, I wasn't like a monster or Red Bull. Yeah, person. I never, I never liked it. It gave me drinks. headaches. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I yeah. just, I just never was into. Energy yeah, I don't, I don't need all. that. Yeah, it's just a lot of sugar. It's too much. It is a lot of sugar. <laughs> That's what it is. That's the energy, dude. We just put sugar in it. Yeah, yeah. I'll figure it out. Fuck. Sugar and caffeine. <laughs> sugar, <laughs> caffeine, and taurine, and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's never. Yeah, yeah. 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 Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> Fuck, we're old. Yeah, we are. We old, sound yeah. so old. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Teenagers watching this, like, wow, boomers. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> They're probably right? born in the 70s. I'm or something. already drinking my first Red Bull when I wake up. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. I'm on my third right now, bro. Yeah. I can't wake up without it in the morning. Yeah. yeah, dude. No, I think teenagers nowadays are like, I just smoke weed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, I ain't trying to be active. <laughs> I <ain't laughs> trying to be active. <laughs> That's true. I ain't about that life. <laughs> about that. Oh, I just want to get a high and watch TikToks, dude. Yeah. Fuck. Stay All day lit. long? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good it's for like, them, though. I feel the, like, 
I don't know, the grasp of anxiety just kind of. I know, but sometimes my... they're so funny sometimes. Like oh, TikTok kids Jesus. these days. Like sometimes they're yeah, terrible, but everybody yeah. can be terrible. But right, like some yeah. of those gen, some of those Gen Z kids. Yeah, like you're hilarious. hilarious. Oh my God. The, the Gen Z sense of humor is fire. Yeah, it's so funny. Out of this world. Yeah. But like TikTok TikTok will consume you. Sometimes oh, yeah. I'll open TikTok oh, yeah. and like I, I feel like I've been there for ten minutes and I'll, I'll close the app and it's like three AM. I I've haven't gotten hooked hours. on it. Yeah. I haven't. Oh, you haven't? Yeah, that's probably why I keep forgetting to like make my own because I'm just never on the app. So. Oh wow. Oh, I yeah. refuse to download it. That I was for the longest yeah. time, and then people were like, it "Would be really dumb of you not to capitalize." And true, and I still haven't. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. It, yeah, yeah. No, but it's, my, it's my girlfriend's like that too, though. Like, she'll open it up, and like, she gets completely yeah. consumed. Yeah. Like, I actually have to make like a big noise or oh, something, no. and she like snaps out of it. Like, whoa, what? What time yeah, is it? Yeah, What's dude, going it's, on? It's like, hypnotizing, and yeah, it's crazy. The thing is, like, it's. Once the algorithm figures out what you like, it just you can over. just go for hours. So my TikTok is just like cute cats and cute dogs and just like <laughs> people just being really funny. And like, but there are some people who are just super political and like I, I tend That's, to skip I, that because I'm just like, I want to be entertained. Yeah. How do you have the energy to deal with that much all day long? Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, Ooh. so I, I just, I just like, but yeah, TikTok, it will just eat your brain alive. Yeah. And I love it. <laughs> well, what I, I really like about TikTok is that it seems to have like a pretty good grasp of like al of the algorithm. Like you're gonna, like if you open it up you're gonna see like local stuff yeah like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, like, locals. Yeah, yeah it's very weird i'm yeah. like oh i don't know if i like that i live in a really small I don't know, town i kind of like it too like in a sense it's like yeah you, i don't want to see things that are like on the other side of the world like yeah. i can see stuff over here it also yeah, yeah. like makes it easier for people to get noticed too yeah. In, like, in yeah, your own yeah. area. I discovered a lot you of shit. I don't want people to TikTok. notice me in my area. <laughs> okay, well, I guess, yeah, okay. That's fair don't enough. Yeah. That's fair yeah, enough. Yeah, no, I discovered a bunch of cool shit in Montreal thanks to TikTok. Oh, that's like, cool. Yeah, like a go. VIP theater. Oh, nice. cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that's the one I was looking at. That had oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's that one. So I went, uh, when I went, to first see, saw Eternals the oh, first okay. time. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. oh, it's yeah. so yeah. It, it's like you, you order, you order drinks and yeah. food and stuff, and then you go and to watch a movie, you. and they bring it to you, what? and you can have alcoholic drinks. Yeah, that's what I love being able to drink in movies. Oh. It's amazing. I've never had the experience. It's so nice. It's <laughs> we'll, we'll go. We'll go. Well, let's go for Spider Man. Okay. For No Way Home. I'm, I'm so done. down for that. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. I'm done. I'm so. It's it's really 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 cool. I love it. I love it. And like yeah. And I discovered a lot of food places thanks to TikTok. Oh yeah, you Cute. would. Because there's yeah. so much food here. So many options. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's really Crazy. cool. So like that's yeah. TikTok is it can do a lot of good. Not always. But Not most of sometimes. the time. But sometimes. <laughs> you know. But sometimes. All right. Next question. Oh, I love this one. What's a movie that should never be remade? Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that one benefits yeah. so much from the time and the combination of like CG and animatronics mm -hmm. that any attempt to remake it will look terrible, will yeah, fail miserably. You don't need mm -hmm. to do it. Just leave it the fuck alone. Yeah. I think most movies don't need to be remade if I'm being completely honest. If it's a good movie, leave it alone. People need to get more in the mindset of remaking movies that had good concepts but were executed terribly. Yeah, yeah. I agree yeah. with like, that. Like stop taking good things and remaking them. It's dumb. I mm. think my ultimate answer. Okay, never remake Harry Potter. Let's get I that agree. out of the way. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. expand the universe. Cool. Never remake it. Yeah. They'll probably Leave make us eventually. Like, we're gonna get a series. They'll do. They'll redo. Probably. It as a yeah. yeah. But my my ultimate answer. If Hollywood, Hollywood, look at me. If you dare to ever remake Back to the Future. <laughs> oh no, no, no. They no. I think they I think that's on the docket. No, 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 no. I'm gonna check don't. for I some need reason. Christopher I... Lloyd. If it's anything without Christopher Lloyd, I don't know. do it. His eyes, bro, the way he like yeah, yeah. he looks at you, <laughs> yeah. I just I can't, bro. I can't. Oh uh, no, he, don't he steals me. my heart. You okay, can... okay. It will never be remade or rebooted. Cool. Oh, I think thank Okay, God. cool. I, for some reason I thought that they were I think they might have been talking about it and then somebody was all like no. Yeah, yeah no, no, good. No. There's some yeah. smart please, people. Please, there. never. Yeah, because Robert Zemeckis specifically said he will do everything in his power to block any attempts at remaking it. Cool. Oh, thank God. Good, yeah. good job. God good bless job. you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, seriously, I, I just because I, I rewatched the first one recently and it's like, <laughs> it's a classic. It's so good. It's it. such a perfect product of its time. Yeah, yeah. Can't you can't that remake today. that. Like you yeah. can't. It will never have the same effect. Like, like the DeLorean is gonna be a Tesla. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like <laughs> what? Like no, please don't ever remake that. Um, there, I think there are a bunch of movies that you should never I most so. of them probably most movies most movies, yeah. most movies should never like, be remade like never remake The Godfather yeah mm. true uh, TV shows also oh never remake Breaking Bad yeah you, mm. no Don't you, touch can't, Breaking you Bad. can't do that yeah. there's no reason to are we open for a, maybe a new adaptation of Game of Thrones but with the what will end up being the real ending if he ever releases these books 
I don't know. I could be down with that down the line, but yeah. like it's so hard because the first handful is so good that you just want to keep recreating exactly shot for shot. Yeah. Um, Especially because the, the it's the cast. Yeah, it's the cast. They're the cast so good. So good. Who's the next Jon Snow? Like, yeah. How do you Khalid? find someone that visibly morose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can just give you this depressing vibe. Just like. That's so funny. Yeah, it's so He's funny. My queen. queen. <laughs> they really fucked him up in the last season. I he know. Is so, he's like they build him up for the entire show. Like he is the most important piece of the puzzle. And then in the last season, he does absolutely nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you, you misunderstand. He's just a piece of yeah. the puzzle. <laughs> Is it the most important one? <laughs> like they do this. There's this massive reveal about where he comes from because you know he's um, a bastard mm -hmm. in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And like then you find out in season six, I think, who his parents are. And it's like such a huge reveal that people had been theorizing yeah, about for years, for years and, and the everything. And then it has no point in the story whatsoever. No point. They reveal it and it's just like, it's so... Honestly, like the fact that you haven't seen the show, I'm half mad because those few, first few seasons are so good, but I wouldn't tell you watch it because it's it not Because it just ends no, so no, bad. No, it's yeah. like, what no, the hell? No. Like, I'm not going to wait and watch all those seasons to just be completely disappointed. Yeah, exactly. I've yeah. Heard, I good. have heard, though, that people that watch it all in one go now aren't as disappointed because it's not like they were waiting like week to week to week. Yeah, year, yeah. Year to year, year, two like years, two years, three seasons. Yeah, yeah. yeah for so sure. So when you watch it yeah. all together, like it wasn't as jarring. Yeah, okay. okay. I hear the same thing about Lost. Oh, probably, uh, I probably. Yeah, uh, I, I give up on Lost before the ending because oh, yeah. it is a show that became, I think, a bit too convoluted for its own good. Mm. And I left, but like my brother finished the show and he hated the ending. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know if you binge it, if it's going to be as bad. Yeah, that's what I mean. I yeah, probably need to go through it yeah. just to see. Just to see. Yeah. I, I see that a lot of people now are like saying that the ending of Breaking Bad sucked. And I'm like, the ending of Breaking Bad was kind of fuego. Yeah, it was kind of perfect. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I like you had Jesse riding off into the sunset. You've got what, Walter have you seen El Camino? Lying. Yeah, I've seen El Camino. Mm -hmm. It was fine. It was fine. I think it, it was like, it felt like just an extra episode. Yeah. Like an epilogue. Yeah, and I was good with that. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I liked yeah it. it was cool. It yeah. was it was okay. Mm -hmm. It's so weird because also you can you can see that he has changed since yeah. like the last season. So like it's a direct continuation. It takes place literally right after his final scene. Mm -hmm. Okay. But like you can tell that like he's he's changed <laughs> he's since. Aged. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit, but like you can see that and it's just like, hmm, it's really weird, especially because there's some flashbacks at some point. Mm -hmm. And you can tell that like it's it's a little okay. weird. But yeah. I was I was happy seeing Kristen Ritter. Yeah, I, I, I would. I would watch Kristen Ritter in I anything. I love her so much. Have you seen Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment Twenty Three? I haven't watched the show, but apparently <gasps> so it's so like, good. It's a, but it was canceled after one season. I know right? it was, but it was so good. It's like a, it's a sitcom, and it's like not the best. But I don't know. She's so good, and like uh, James Vanderwall is just randomly in it. Oh, Jay Vanderbeek, Vanderbeek, Vanderbeek. Yeah. Oh wait, is that the? Uh, it's with uh, Jessica Jones, no? Yeah, that's Kristen yeah, Ritter. Yeah, that's oh, Kristen Ritter. Right, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah so and it's so good. Oh, I love so, her. I know, she's I love great. Her so much. I love oh Jessica Jones she too. She has such a unique charisma. Oh she does, yeah. Like, you can't put your finger on it, yeah. but there's something about her that's just such so Such good cool. energy. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. It's just yeah her energy honestly yeah, yeah. wow she, like she's the best friend and uh, she's out of my league yeah oh yeah, my yeah, god yeah, 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 her, yeah. Com oh, her comedy is just mm. out of this world oh and by the way I wish she could come back as Jessica Jones I know I, I wanted her to because she was I, so perfect I, I, yeah. so perfect, perfect. I think yeah. Jessica Jones especially the first season is probably one of the most misunderstood Oh, it's a I Marvel love project. that show. It's love it, love it, really love it. good. And so like, good because it's a you know it's a story about trauma, and I get mm -hmm. where that's for some people they're just like, look, I just want to watch Marvel to be entertained. I know, but like, I love trauma. It's <laughs> terrible, but I'm like, give me, give that, me that, that shit. But she is yeah. so good. There's she has that line in Defenders, like when um they're explaining the lore behind what's happening, I had and to give he up says on like. That. You didn't like Defenders? I had to get up. I yeah. It's yeah, like I mean, it's it's fine. fine. I think it's, it's like fine. middle of the it's road. It's like, like any care any time I dealt with a character that I liked, I was like, this is cool. But then it would bring in like I hate the hand, and then I hate if it was a character I didn't yeah. like. It's like each Iron individual. Fist. Yeah, it's Iron like the writers fist. for each oh series were writing God. for each character, so all the same weaknesses and strengths were just across the thing, and yeah. I just gave up on it. Anyway, yeah. sorry, I cut okay. you off. Yeah, no, it's fine. Like yeah. she, she just has that line that I find so funny. Like, and it's because it's her delivery. Like, he explains something, and he's like, we called ourselves The Hunt. And she just goes, oh, my God, these names are killing me. Yeah, <laughs> I, just yeah. like, I just love that uh, line so much. I love it. I wish she could come back, because everybody's talking about Daredevil, and I do want Charlie of Cox course, to yeah. come back. Yeah. I yeah. want Jessica That's Jones back. Yeah, I oh, want her back, too. That yeah, would be so I want cool. Ritter, Like, yeah, I just had, like, this her. scene in my yeah. head of, like, 
her meeting Peter Parker. <laughs> yeah, oh, it'd be on. so good. Yeah, be she would so be funny. so sassy with him. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. She'd that probably call so him Squirt or something. Just like, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it'd be so funny. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I Sorry, Miss Jones. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah I was like, right. <laughs> yeah. Miss Jones, so I don't feel so good yeah, Miss Jones. <laughs> <laughs> because she gave him whiskey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, oh, shit. Oh, so right. good. All right, next question. Um, would you rather be the best at speaking every language or be the best at playing every instrument and why? Oh, this one's hard, huh? I'd go with speaking every language. Uh, speaking every language would be so useful for a lot of for situations, but stuff, yeah. every instrument is cool. It's and fire, then you could, though, you yeah. got every yeah. party trick. You walk somewhere and you're just kind of like, let's yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think I gotta go language though. Yeah, language. It would be too cool for like traveling and stuff. It would be so good. You show up to Japan and you're fluent and yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. it's easier to learn instruments than learn language. So I think I'd probably also, yeah, yeah probably yeah, go lang. Weird. Fine. <laughs> you I'm really win. debating between being like functional or like really hot. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah that's right. Can yeah. you play guitar while playing piano? Yeah, just yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> just shredding with one hand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like Jimi Hendrix yeah. times 1,000. <laughs> yeah. So dope. Yeah, yeah. You, got, you got to go language. That's, yeah, that's the one do. that like... Especially where like, I like traveling so much. It just makes sense. Yeah. For sure, Honestly, yeah. if I could do that, I would instantly... Because if you got language, I would move to Japan for like a year. That would be so cool. Easily, yeah. Yeah, I would You're do that. you just a G no matter where you go. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. But like, imagine like if you... You know how some people go like through like places where they're like ancient tribes that are still living there right. and stuff yeah. but you can speak with them you that can would be crazy dude. That'd be so dope. yeah you could understand what they were going to say right before they killed you and i don't yeah. mean that in a way that but <laughs> yeah. that's just yeah, what yeah, they defend themselves yeah and, and stuff, yeah. yeah because you're on their territory well you'd also kill them we would bring so many diseases to any of those places that like that's they would get true. sick and that's yeah. why you're that's the one of the main reasons why you're not allowed interacting with them is because oh, of how many right. diseases you can bring to them yeah but would they kill you if you can interact with them though like if you can legit it depends, how, it depends how you showed up it depends how they saw you it depends what you said I would probably imagine yeah. like, I'm not a like threat if you, I'm not if you a show threat. up in a plane they're gonna be like what the fuck oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you know? true. yeah. but like, I mean if you're speaking their language that's yeah. like yeah hard to say hard to say oh. I just stay yeah, away yeah, I, I just stay away I'm like you guys are doing good you're doing your thing I'm just gonna I'm just walking you, you pull know? a Wakanda I'm <laughs> when uh, Michael B. Jordan shows up to Wakanda and he, and he says like in, in the language like I'm the son of whatever yeah like I'm not <laughs> here like, to evangelize anyone so they can just do their thing yeah, I don't yeah. need to talk to them they're That's good right. honestly I just needed a break from YouTube like what's YouTube like oh, don't worry about it don't worry about <laughs> it <laughs> just pull it quick and walk yeah. away yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> alright oh this one's cool your consciousness is sent back to when you were at age 15 and you maintain all of your current knowledge and experience what do you do Okay, so you were basically sent back to your body when you're 13. When you're but 15. You, 15, but, but, but you have you, all you, of the knowledge from now. Yeah, yeah, you retain, you're still you. Just wait time. for YouTube to be a thing? Me, okay, here's what I do. I get a summer job, shitty one. I put $1,000 in crypto. Yes. And that's I just oh my wait. God, Bitcoin. <laughs> and yeah. I, I just leave But school. the thing is, yeah. the, the, the paradox there is that if you start doing things that affect trends, it won't happen the same. If you... B right. putting a thousand in the bitcoin yeah. might not do anything but like yeah. little changes like that would change a lot and it would actually potentially affect the market to the but extent that like nothing would happen person, yeah if you're you just know? one person doesn't matter yeah. when it comes it's still markets yeah. it's hard not, to say it's a thousand, hard to say a thousand dollars in crypto back in 2014 is like almost a hundred million dollars right? I know I that's yeah, what I mean though so like what is yeah. that so I would just do that and that wait for do, 2020 though? and do jack shit with my life <laughs> <laughs> well I mean even in like what 2016 Bitcoin was like three grand a coin yeah something yeah, like that yeah. so, I don't yeah. know and now it's like what 60 grand a coin crypto scares the shit out of me, me that's too. just insane because the way it's gonna just change everything no one's gonna or use money nothing. anymore. Well, it depends. It might not. Yeah, might banks are gonna fall, or the, or they're or just nothing's gonna, start gonna happen, or none of that's gonna happen, or none and of that's crypto gonna is gonna yeah. explode because people awesome. are gonna be like, you can't use this for anything. So. It's the same thing with NFTs. Yeah. Like NFTs, no, I think they're dumb, and I'm gonna get toasted for that, but I think it's dumb. But it's just pe people don't get it. People yeah, but don't it's understand okay. What when it is. I, when NFTs first started, it was like actual artists making really cool things, and then they were able to sell it. Yeah. Digital yeah, artists yeah. were able to sell their art and I thought that was cool. And then suddenly there's these like shitty little sprite graphics that I could make yeah. Yeah. being sold for like hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, I'm sure I'm sure I'm being uneducated and somebody's gonna torch me in the comments, but I think NFTs are dumb. I think the whole idea of it is kind of like okay, like if you wanna go down that avenue, have fun, you have it. I just don't like the fact that like 
you like I'm gonna collect NFTs, but I can only see them through my screen. It's it, like I. It's wow. like yeah. you have the certificate. Why don't you collect something that's tangible? It's like, like you have the certificate to the Mona Lisa, but the Mona Lisa is always gonna be in the museum, and people can recreate pictures of the Mona Lisa to have themselves. Yeah, like exactly. That's, that's, that's pretty like, much what it is. Yeah, yeah. That's and why then, you, like, you pay a hundred thousand just for a thing that says you have the original. Yeah, but, but that yeah. you can only see it through your phone. Yeah, like, it's I think like, you, uh, I think you have to care. But like I know there there are some people that do interesting things, like uh, Mila Kunis. Mm -hmm. She made an animated show that is sold through nfts and so the people who pay for it can decide what happens on the show yeah oh, like and I, and I think, yeah that, that's that's more yeah i, I don't know it's, it's more tangible in a way because you You're have a hand on it, it. Yeah, yeah and i assume that at some point they'll get more um creative like, well not even creative just more environmentally conscious with how like the minting process goes because right yeah. now it's like oh, it's you, bad. the yeah, minting it's bad. process is really bad for like yeah. how much energy it burns to like mint an nft yeah so like once they get that stuff where I'm, I'm just i don't know i'm just so very nihilistic about a lot of things in the world right now and i'm like really do we need like one more thing that's doing come yeah do we need one more i don't know <laughs> but i like, think like you we need to get through the the <laughs> this weird period where every celebrity is jumping on it like the weekend at nfts and yeah and like, I, like i won't i'm just like i'm not touching it just yeah, <laughs> i'm no, not exactly. touching any of it to, but i'm curious worry. to see like where it's going to be in like five years because it's such at an early stage right now that you don't know what it's going to evolve into maybe yeah. it's going to turn into something really crazy good well, yeah, well there's but there's also people that are like fake buying their own nfts to like drive up the prices to make it look like something stole, sold for like a million dollars but like God. it's yeah. probably not yeah. actually what's happening and yeah. all sorts of weird stuff then there's like there's a bunch of theories that a lot of it's being used to launder money like there's a lot of Probably, stuff that's being I'm not surprised yeah, I know I like I haven't looked into it too much so again like torch me in the comments section but it's just like <laughs> torture know, there's, yeah we'll read them but like we won't be happy about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, oh this one's cool what's something that's not a cult but feels like a cult multi-level marketing oh yeah definitely yeah, yeah. yeah. it basically is but like yeah. it's it's not basically. technically I have one that's gonna yeah. get me murdered in the comments Taylor Swift fans. <laughs> what the fuck? I think Marvel fans are worse. Marvel fans are worse. Yeah, I'm one of them. I'm Is Star Wars fans a cult? Um, but no, because they hate oh. Star Wars yeah, so yeah, much. They're, that they're I don't just know ripping it, each other that's apart what I mean, constantly. I don't know if they can count as a cult because they hate each other so much. Yeah. <laughs> but so yeah, true. no, Swifties, that's that's fair. Swifties are, Swifties. are hardcore. Um, it's, it's not Swifties. always necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, I don't it, find them too bad. But. No, it's, it's just sometimes they get really intense. Like if mm. anybody says like, not even something negative about Taylor Swift but if they're just like Taylor Swift is not my favorite artist yeah. they will fucking torch them I know um, but that but, also kind of reminds me of like Beyonce fans too Beyond, they yeah. were bad for a while yeah. but they chilled out because yeah, like, I think really Beyonce chilled. just hasn't done anything recently okay. um, yeah yeah okay. they chilled out but whenever she's around they're, they're on they're, it they're yeah. so extreme yeah, yeah. and uh, K-pop fans but I like uh, K-pop now. I, I grew to fair. like it. That's fair. I've never really listened to it, but yeah, yeah. they were they, they can be very bad. But sometimes they use their forces for good. For good, yeah. yeah they troll <laughs> politicians and stuff. Yeah. Have you seen what they did on Twitter with the? Uh, it was a Trump rally, I think. Yeah. They they they, they bought uh, up all the tickets and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, all and the tickets they, to Trump so rally. It made it, so they thought that like ten thousand people were gonna show up, and it was like a hundred. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because they yeah. bought all the tickets and just they didn't go. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, they were free. You didn't actually have to buy them. You just had to like reserve the spot. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. It's so That's good. So deep. Yeah. Next question. What's cool now, but probably won't be in five years? Fucking everything. You think so? I don't know. Oh Taylor, God, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Swift's been cool for the past five years. Marvel's been cool for the past five years. Yeah. Okay, all right. You know, yeah, yeah, um, you know what? TikTok. I'm not sure it's going to be... I, I don't know how sustainable it's going to be. Yeah, it's hard to say. Oh. I don't know. I'm not sure. Unless it evolves and does some drastic changes, but I know... Like now, Instagram is just so desperate to catch up to TikTok. Yeah. They're doing a lot of shit. And I like yeah. Instagram, but like uh, I, I use stories and stuff, but right. I don't do reels or shit Yeah, like that. I no. think that Instagram is actually murdering itself a little bit by being so insistent on trying to use it to like save the dying ship of Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been a really, weird marketplace. It's really and, annoying because yeah. then I have to, I literally have to like really watch with the security things because sometimes they change settings and it will like try to link back to my public Facebook. And I'm like, I don't wow. use this publicly. Please don't fucking do this. This is a creator account. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck is wrong with you? That's so weird. In the fucking metaverse and shit. Like, that scares the fuck out of me <laughs> yeah. a little bit. That scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Fucking Zuckerberg. Dude. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? Yeah. You guys ring to get that Ready Player One shit? Yeah. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Yeah, Pretty really. much. It really does. Like, the concept of it, like, when you think about the idea of, like, yeah, you can go online with your friends from all around the world and just hang out in a virtual place. Cool, but, cool. like, the, 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 
oh, I, I mean, want this, to. The societal ramifications of that in the long run is so much is oh my God, terrifying yeah. to me yeah well i mean i guess it would be exactly what facebook is now like before all of this happened yeah. like a if you go back line. to like yeah <laughs> but it, i'm line. just saying I like if you go back to let's say 2006 before any of this even started like what okay we were all on myspace yeah i love MySpace. oh yeah myspace was a vibe dude but MySpace before that top MSN. Eight. Yeah. MSN. Yeah. Yeah. MSN yo MS, msn was the shit i was the shit what was your what was your weird email I don't remember mine, but like a lot of people had like a weird like Hotmail account. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Are you still use it? <laughs> I don't use it, but like I might be like a backup for something that uh, okay, like, you yeah, know, yeah, I don't want people to know. So I'm going to leave it. It was dumb though. It was dumb as shit. So <laughs> yeah. I don't remember mine, but I, man, MSN was such a vibe. You could whiz people. Remember that shit? Mm. Yeah. You make their screen. <laughs> or the nudge. How to harass nudge, people yeah. through a computer. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. The whole screen just fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, I know. Shit. It's like, like, it was oh, so aggressive. So good. It really is, bro. I love oh, it. Man, telling people you had to go eat. BRB. Yeah, the BRB, yeah, BRB, G2G. Yeah, G2G. Updating your status, putting lyrics in your in your display name yes. and stuff. Yeah. Oh my god! It was, it was yes. literally just at the time like, where everyone was like listening to Billy Talent. Yeah, <laughs> yes, Billy Talent. Cast up the crotch, cast up the pain. The red flag never never the same. I feel like every other day for me was like last resort. Papa Roach. This is yeah, my yeah. last resort. <laughs> yeah, I knew somebody who had that. Oh, and Fallen Leaves was also a vibe. I remember I re-edited when I was a kid. When I started playing with editing, I re-edited the trailer of Spider-Man 3 to Billy Talent. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. nice. Love that. In a crooked little town, they were lost and never found. Fallen Leaves. Fallen Leaves. Fallen Leaves. On the ground. Bam, 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 bam. I don't know. Where are they at, though? Uh, they are touring right now. Oh, okay. um, their drummer has MS, so every once in a while, Billy Talent. No, Alexis on Fire's drummer fills in for them. Oh wow! Um, okay. But yeah, okay. so they're they're doing good. I remember mm -hmm. also the the early years of YouTube, like 2006, 2007. I would watch uh, Dragon Ball Z fight compilations, but with too, AMVs, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With AMVs, like yes. and, and it was all it was always the um oh god, I mean I'm blanking on their names. Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Lincoln, 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 Lincoln Park and end, anime bro. were yeah. always yeah. always yeah. Lincoln Park and anime oh, AMVs like Naruto <laughs> x Lincoln Park, like yeah. Death Note x Lincoln Park. I was yeah. like, let's go. It was so good. Yeah. And I I do miss this old era of YouTube where it was just the most random shit yeah, yeah. It just, was just, it was mm, no one stuff. had anything figured out it was just literally throwing shit it was yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, kind of yeah. like really similar to like what tiktok is now yeah you know? exactly. yeah pretty yeah. much exactly, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. But I, th that's the thing i wonder if tiktok is going to get to a place where it becomes as i don't want to say democratized but because well, like they, they keep up the amount of time that you can make yeah exactly now you can do three minutes yeah you can do three minutes oh really? yeah okay. but then yeah so yeah it's, like i want i just mm. wonder how that's going to turn out but it's just because it is an efficient platform but i see it right now as like the just the new version of vine and vine was not sustainable no. Vine died that's true so i don't know if i have no idea how that's going to go vine I, was funny though yeah i still don't even know why vine died it never made yeah. money it oh. was never profitable yeah but neither has youtube apparently Oh really? Yeah. Oh, according. I, I know that. To them, Jesus. It may be recently, but it's just because Google and stuff makes so much money that like it they sustains can just afford it. it. Oh, okay. yeah. I guess yeah, like because the, the amount of servers they have and stuff like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. You know. But I just think Vine they didn't have the backup because nobody bought it back, right? I yeah, was yeah. it acquired? Yeah. I thought didn't Twitter buy it? Oh, that's, po that's possible. And then they shut it down, didn't they? Yeah, because they, they <laughs> tried to remake a new... That There was there was a Vine 2 that yeah. was like, supposed to come, and I yeah. don't think that ever happened. I don't know. I thought that like Twitter bought it, and then it died out. But so, man, I don't that, know. That 2014 summer when Vine was just ruling... The, <laughs> I never actually had the Vine app. Yeah, me neither. You I was just, just watching stuff. like on, on Facebook. It was yeah, a like lot of it on Facebook. Yeah, and, stuff, and, and it was stuff. so yeah. fun. Yeah. Okay, well, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> what was the highest waste of money that you do not regret? The highest waste of money that I do not regret? Yeah, just something that you, buy that, w that you bought that was way too expensive, but you just don't regret it. My camera? I don't know. I can't yeah, say I, I can't say camera because, like, I use it. Like, yeah, that's the work, technically, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't know. I don't... My new TV. <laughs> Fair. Probably when I get the TV, that'll probably be... That'll yeah. probably be it. Yeah, my TV it. was so expensive, but like, why would I ever take a 75 inch? But it's <laughs> just, it's exactly. Because you're a G. Yeah, yeah. that's probably what my, when, Once I get my TV, that's probably going to be it because like, otherwise I'm like, I try to be fairly frugal. Like I've spent a yeah. lot of money on a camera. I spent, a, I just bought a new laptop, but it's like, I work on it every single day. Yeah, so yeah. it makes if it, sense. If it's like, work yeah, tools, it? it doesn't. Yeah, so yeah. I don't exactly. think it's a waste of money because it's not. Yeah. So. I also waste way too much money on chocolate. 
<laughs> just specifically chocolate. And you don't yeah, regret it. yeah. Like, <laughs> dude, I, I always need to have some Ferrero Rocher at my place. And okay. Stuff like that. Like, I, I just spend too much, way too much money on it. I kind of cut back on Nutella. I used to have like a real oh, wow. addiction to. I have an addiction to sugar in general that That's I'm trying well, to yeah. work on, okay. and I'm way better. Like, if it was me four years ago mm. and I was still like that, I would probably have diseases right now. That's like, it, it was, it was really bad. I got like really hooked in january on honey peanut butter like craft honey peanut butter wow i just i was it was doing sundance film festival but like digitally and i just oh. couldn't get food so because i was watching movies constantly yeah, yeah, so yeah. i was just like i'm hungry i'm gonna take a spoon of peanut butter and then i was like what if i had a honey though know? <laughs> because no it's built in it's honey peanut butter oh wow never, yeah. okay, it's, shit, it's so good that. it's like a little bit more sweet it's a nice vibe there's like the I'm getting that because there's some watch out there because there's some that's like the um it's it like is it craft yeah but okay. there's some that's craft that's like the no preservatives that one's not great but then if you can find the one that's actually just like smooth peanut butter yeah, yeah. honey peanut butter okay. with preservatives so good and I was just like sitting there eating it. it and eating it like unpopular opinion oh, I don't like peanut butter I oh, don't normally but I like did this one just hit you different yeah like sometimes I do like I like Reese's and like every once in a while I'll have like a peanut Reese's butter sandwich Reese's is fine Reese's is fine yeah. fire yeah. you mean yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> flames but yeah like there's something about that specific like that specific peanut butter I'm just kind of like ooh, it's like the, the hint of sweetness just really kicks it up a notch yeah okay mm. I, yeah. I get it I probably try it yeah. Yeah. I believe her out of me <laughs> you made me really proud of me. I believe in the honey now. <laughs> I, believe in honey. Yeah. I put honey in my coffee. I love honey. You mm. put honey in your coffee? Oh, bro, it's in, amazing. Yeah, I've never, never heard about it in coffee, but like in in tea, obviously. But yeah, I guess tea, it could work yeah. in honey. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in, I guess it could work in coffee. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I huh. swear by it. Okay. Sure. Well, yeah. I'll give it a go. Yeah. I put it in my tea and my coffee. Do you put Black? it in your like hazelnut coffee? Uh, yes. Okay, I could see that probably work. Like it would pair off with the hazelnut pretty well. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, the, the hazelnut you don't really need you it because it already yeah. has like a sweetness, sweetness? to it. Yeah. But like even like with just regular bitter coffee, okay, like you put okay. honey. But you don't put any um, like milk or cream. Just black coffee with honey. Well, like at home, I'll use like almond milk. If I'm right, out, right. then I'll just get it black. Mm. Oh, yeah, you can't have dairy, right? Yeah, yeah you can't have dairy. Lactose intolerance. That sucks. Struggles. Yeah, it <laughs> sucks. It sucks even more when it like only happened in like the past couple of years or like okay now it's like six years oh you were fine before yeah yeah, mm, yeah a lot of people are it but developed. like people in general are lactose intolerant mm -hmm. um and we've mostly just developed like an enzyme to kind of be okay with it but i find if you go any amount of time without eating or consuming a lot of dairy like you will become more sensitive to it like straight up milk and stuff like if you go a really long time without drinking milk and then you have a glass like it will probably upset your stomach um, yeah. and people have like a lot of digestion issues that they probably don't realize are as a result of like consuming dairy Oh wow! Yeah. Just just because it's not making you like run to the bathroom doesn't mean that it's not like messing with your gut and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Um, yeah. Because I I am um, I do this thing where when I eat something really sugary, I have a small glass of milk. Yeah. Because every time I take a bite and it's all sugary, it's like I'd, I'll have a sip of milk and it kind of like Offsets neutralizes. It. Yeah, it yeah, balances, and it's, yeah. It's, it's it's I don't know why, but it's only like I'll never drink a glass of milk just like that. Yeah. Unless it, it's years. really when I'm having something really sugary. Yeah. Well, it's okay. like milk and cookies. You know, you yeah, eat yeah the kind offset. of yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Next question. Mm -hmm. Douglas Adams once wrote, I may not have gone where I intended to go, but I think I have ended up where I needed to be. How might this quote describe an experience in your life? I think that might be my life in general. Yeah. I feel, yeah. Like, <laughs> I feel yeah. like that's Nothing was life. planned, but I'm here. Well, like I really, I thought I'd probably be doing something in the inter... I wanted to be, I, I wanted to be a musician. Like I wanted to be in right, a band. Right, right. Um, and that's not happening but i just also just really wanted to be in some kind of like entertainment job yeah. and that's what i'm doing so yeah i think it's the same for me because uh to me i think the perfect thing of uh i may not have gone where i intended to go youtube yeah exactly i, I know you wouldn't have, that, when we were kids that wasn't a thing that wasn't a thing yeah, yeah that wasn't true. a plan and, and, and then in high school it wasn't a job it was just a place people put videos yeah yeah once. exactly yeah, so yeah. we're like this first gen of well not, not really first. anymore it's been it's been long enough it's been long I think. enough we'd yeah. be like second or third yeah but. second or third yeah. but like i just i never thought like i, I started youtube because i'm only in paris but also uh <laughs> it, it was the pandemic and yeah. you know we're at home and i was like i want to try something new but i never ever thought it, it would actually become a career yeah but now i feel so at home yeah doing absolutely. it you know yeah. and that's just such a good feeling but uh, I don't know if there are other aspects in life because there's so much that happens that's not planned, mm -hmm. but then it just falls into your life and it becomes mm -hmm. the right thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, but yeah. I don't know. I just like the quote. It's a good quote. I it's, think yeah, it's like, a really good quote, yeah. yeah. You got something, bro? No, I mean, you guys are, you guys said it, you know, I mean, I feel like all the best things 
are never planned they just yeah. kind of happen yeah, yeah yeah so i think no matter yeah. what whether it's youtube or life in general like you'll always kind of plan for something but then like what ends up happening is Completely. probably much better yeah like yeah. so many people try to plan everything to the t and then they get so stressed out if it doesn't work out and then they feel like failures and they don't take the time to realize like all the good things that are happening around them instead yeah, yeah. that's it yeah, yeah. so exactly. that's the thing yeah. with dating as well right like most people who are constantly going on first dates just trying to like force that yeah. like yeah. that thing and stuff and when they kind of stop looking they, they'll just Something meet someone spontaneously and yeah. things are like great and yeah, yeah. Yeah, just let let life flow sometimes, you know? Let mm -hmm. life happen yeah. to yeah. you. Happen. Yo, yeah. You don't mm -hmm. happen to life. Life happens to you, beesh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is. <laughs> <That's so> <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. You die. Damn. That's it. No okay. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Story's over. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. <laughs> no question. Just you dead. No, uh, you die, and the first thing you see in the afterlife are three buttons. One says, next level... The second says spectate and the third says restart. Which one do you press and why? Wait, wait oh. would next level be heaven? Like is next level, next, next level, level of I life? Guess, like, yeah, I guess we don't know. I, know oh. I guess that would be restart because you're restarting life, right? But ne next level, I guess, is like going on the other side, right? Yeah. Other side. And then you have spectate, which I guess would be like being a ghost and just watching life, maybe your loved ones and stuff. Okay, yeah, spectate. Um, uh, I don't know if I like I'd be any. down to be a ghost. That would fuck with people so much. I don't much. like any of those options. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but with spectating, you can't really mess with people. You can literally just Oh, yeah, watch. you can just watch. Yeah, yeah. fuck, that sucks. Uh, yeah, I don't think I like any of those options. Yeah, you know I don't what? know. I don't want to be given the opportunity to do anything. Just to choose, choose yeah, something. Just, God, yeah. tell me what to do, yeah. man. Not, not spectate. Yeah, not no, spectate. Yeah, not spectate. Yeah. Spectate sounds... One. Depressing, yeah, yeah, not spectate. Yeah. Yeah. You feel you'd be like fucking Matthew McConaughey and in, uh, Interstellar, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't that's want that. So you know, awful. like yeah, none of that, none of that. Like you see your loved ones having a terrible yeah, time, terrible and you time. can't do anything. Yeah, you can't hug them, nothing. That's yeah, awful. exactly, yeah, none of that. Rough. Yeah, not spectate. Next level is just, I, I guess, we'll be going to heaven. But if you have to, I guess, or just dirt. Like, what do you do? Yeah. You have nothingness. It's either next level, like there's an afterlife, or there's nothing, and I don't want to know. I don't want to have the option there. You do it if it's that's what happens. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah the idea of a... Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a concept in Death Note that terrified me. You know when Ryuk reveals the light that uh, he if can't, you use the Death Note... You can't go to heaven or hell. Yeah, you're just... Yeah. Uh, you're gonna be Purgatory. in nothingness yeah, just forever. Nothing, yeah. That terrifies me. Yeah, that's just, terrifying. I don't want that. that. Yeah. And, uh, and I don't want to restart because like I'm basically like I think I might squeak out and die before things get really bad so I don't want to restart <laughs> but also is restart is does that restart button involve keeping your knowledge and stuff no it would probably be reincarnation yeah just have, reincarnation like, instincts mm. of things that might have happened to you in a past life and oh, it might man. affect little things but who knows we need more clarifications to this yeah, yeah like are we talking new game plus or like, yeah. <laughs> do I start the you story the over XP. when you yeah, keep, exactly. I keep my items and yeah. shit? <laughs> you keep my guns. Yeah. That'd be so, you respawn, but your bank account is done. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so fucking funny. What if reincarnation is like real and somebody can truly remember their past lives? Well, I mean, how many times do you hear of like kids that are born and they have like memories of their past life or whatever? Oh, dude, yeah. that like, freaks that me out so much. That scares me, but like yeah. if it happens, that means it has to be possible. Yeah, there, there are things with, uh, there's a story with twins. Uh, there were, uh, a couple had two tw twins, like little girls, and they died in a car accident. Oh my God. And then like a few years later, they had other twins. Oh no. And the twins started to act like the previous ones. Oh, that's fucked. And that they, they fucked. wanted to play with the same toys and oh, they, yeah. they would mention, they were like, uh, they would call each other the names of the previous twins mm. without even knowing because the parents didn't tell them yet because they were too young. Yeah. Yeah. And, like shit like that, yo, that freaks me out, man. Yeah, freaks that's me out. scary to be reincarnated into the same yeah, family, yeah. bro. Damn. Because there's this idea that like the supernatural is just a science that we don't have discovered yeah, like yet. Like yeah. or whatever. There's stuff like that that I don't know. I mean, because of like that, that one creepy thing that happened to me when I was 10, I'm like kind of a skeptical, whereas yeah. of like I don't know that I believe specifically in spirits and stuff like that, but I do believe that there is shit that we can't f see or figure out or stuff like that yeah, yet. For sure, but maybe it's just a science that we haven't accessed yet, especially if like there are other universes out there. <laughs> I want to believe. Would you want to meet a multiverse, <laughs> you? Just to see. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. At what one if, point, yeah. What I, if they're better than than you? See, I had that <laughs> thought. I was literally <laughs> just about to say that. 
where I am right now, I'm at least like satisfied that I'm making like good progress and doing things I want. But like right, if right. like 10 years ago, I had met somebody who like made it as a musician or like did something really cool and I was yeah. just like depressed in college, I'm be like... You see a version of you getting a Grammy? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. like... Never mind. <laughs> I'm just going to go back to bed. Yeah, right? I'm going to go back to bed. I'm the variant. Damn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but right now, though, probably just to see what the hell is up. But then I'd be worried that if that one did suck, they'd try to kill me and take my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I always it. think about yeah. that. I always think about it. I'm like, I don't know if like if my if I'm in a good place in life, which I am right now. Yeah. You know, if I, if I meet another me that's not satisfied with their yeah, life, yeah, like what's what will happen? they do? Yeah, exactly. What if you meet a version of you that snapped, like is just went yeah. through a horrible shit, and it was oh, yeah. man. Joker Bruno. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fucking, yeah. Fucking killing shit. dictator Kryptonian. Dictator. Bruno. <laughs> uh, unrelated, but slightly related. Have you guys both seen The Prestige? The yes, Christ- of course. The yeah, Christopher Nolan yeah. movie with the, like with the magic? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, with Christian Bale. yeah, with Christian Bale. Yeah, yeah. Okay, would you do what he does to duplicate his body if you had to technically kill yourself every time? No, oh, I, 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 I couldn't do it's this. It's so weird, right? I couldn't yeah, do no. this. Yeah. It's, it was, it was uh, I think a lot of people hated the twist because they say it came out of nowhere, but like, I think no. the, the mentality behind it is so fucking scary. It's, yeah, it I really love is. It. Like, how much are you willing to literally sacrifice to, to be the be, best yeah just to be the the most yeah, beloved the and most just, beloved <sighs> to be to game the system it's crazy I was like, oh my god that's well yeah it's christopher a nolan has a, has a good thing with twists yeah do you like yeah. do you, okay what, what's your thoughts on interstellar do you like the movie i do like interstellar I haven't a lot. Watched it. it's i feel you like it's, emotionally it? i love it i love like, it emotionally as well i just think that like uh, well, I'm, I'm going to kind of spoil it for you. That's no, okay. Go but for like, it. Um, basically, at the end of the movie, he finds himself in like a place between dimensions. You yeah, can say that's that? what we were yeah, just talking yeah. about. Yeah, and, like reaching and, through. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact, the one thing that bothers me, even though emotionally it works, is the fact that like his only way to get out of it is love. Like love is the answer to. Tra- Love's always the answer. Have you watched Harry Potter? I mean, yeah, <laughs> but like, <laughs> at least in Harry Potter, like there's spells and shit. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like he, he basically like he he finds himself stranded in space. Like he yeah. saves the life of someone. Oh, I've seen that in a YouTube video. Like yeah, I've yeah. seen parts of yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah, should yeah. watch like, it. It, it is an exceptionally good movie. I yeah. think like yeah, it's, it's really, it's I find really the good. ones that are co-written by his brother tend to have like more of an emotional resonance to them. Yeah. Even if they okay. don't yeah. come together as clean. I feel yeah, like his no. movies haven't come together super clean in a while though. So like, I'll take it. I, I just, I, do you like Dunkirk? I do. I like Dunkirk, but I don't think it's not. It's not my favorite. Yeah, it's probably my least favorite of his films, but I still like yeah, it. Yeah, like I like I love what he did with it, but I'm so into like characters and progress that the fact that this is just like five movie climaxes happening at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like mm. it's just and and uh, Tenet. I liked. I hated oh, you hated Tenet, but yeah. it's, well, it, it is okay. a very it is a weirdly messy movie. It's messy and it's dumb. Uh, the audio mixing is garbage. That uh, was not fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching <laughs> in theaters fun. and I'm like, I can't understand half of what people are saying they're saying and it's the music's like, too loud or just uh, the surrounding sounds are too he's, loud yeah he's so been bad bizarre. with audio for a while that. and like to the point that it's always getting fixed before home release like interstellars was really bad at first it started with dark knight rises it was when it first got really oh bad. i do remember that yeah dark and knight then it's just been getting yeah. progressively worse since then yeah T- tenet was a the concept of tenet is interesting very but i just don't think the execution was perfect i agree um but uh, i still i still enjoyed watching it and I, I just love watching Robert Pattinson in roles. Like me he, too. He was the best part of that movie yeah. for me. It's just so cool to see him. I don't I don't know what it is about him, but the second he's in a role, because you know he's always going to be different. Yeah. It never feels like, you yeah. know how some actors just kind of play themselves? Nicolas yeah. Cage. In a, Nicolas Cage. I mean, Ryan Reynolds, but he's too Ryan good Reynolds. at it, so no one yeah, cares. Yeah, exactly. But like, yeah. but you Will know, Smith. Will Smith. That's the thing. Can you even remember the name of one of Will Smith's character? It's just Will Smith Will in Smith. that movie. I think his new one, the King costume. Richard, I think. Is oh, like, that's because he's playing a real person. He's playing a real person, so yeah. he can ma- base it off. Yeah, he yeah. does different. He's basing it off of a real person. That's true. Yeah, when it, when it's a fictional character, you never remember the name. It's just, <laughs> yeah, remember Will Smith in uh, I'm a Legend? What's his name in I Am Legend? Yeah, bro, isn't he, he, just, he was isn't he K just, in MIB. Isn't he yeah. just the protagonist is doesn't he not have a name Oh, that's Oh, yeah, that's possible. That's possible. Oh, okay, and I Am Legend. So I maybe guess he possible. probably did give a name, I haven't though. Seen I can't it in a while. remember. Mm. Have you seen the, the alternate ending? Yes, because that's the book ending. Yeah, it's much. I think it's better. It's better. It's a lot better. Yeah. but it didn't perform well with test audiences. So, oh, what is sucks. the original? Wait, what's the, uh, the ending that they added? Well, okay. the whole thing of I Am Legend is that he is the nightmare to the vampires. Yeah. Um, okay. The zombie. The zombie. Yeah. yeah like, being, yeah. There are like more vampires he in the book. Basically, he realizes that like the 
all the things they're doing trying to catch him they're just trying to get back the person he took took right yeah yeah, yeah but yeah. i mean like it, the normal ending is him like blowing up the whole house yeah so whatever. he doesn't he gives her back yeah oh that's it yeah and yeah he, he gives her back because he realizes like oh shit i'm the monster yeah and that's why they're hunting me down okay here you go but Let's like walk does he ever away. get like a cure or like is that ever developed no i don't anything? think they do the cure thing in that one no, I can't no they don't yeah. yeah they don't okay they don't he's, he does research for it i think but yeah. yeah then he they don't do it yeah so oh. after all that just no cure one less dog and he's alone still yeah because he's legend he's he is legend. legend he yeah. is the legend for no one to, to i hear. remember he, it's he, a good ending it's sorry it's much better than yeah, being yeah. like because the, the movie as it is you kind of get that realization that he's still like i'm still gonna blow them the fuck up <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah 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 all right next question what weird thing would you make socially acceptable if you could men wearing crop tops i want to wear crop tops it is so socially bad. acceptable as long as you do it like you have fun buddy i i really want to you could seriously yeah. you could can yeah. i can i do the opposite can i take away something that's socially acceptable uh, yeah go yeah, away sure. men not wearing shirts what do you mean oh, okay. men men being able to walk around on the street without wearing oh, a shirt okay, okay like uh, going shirtless yeah yeah, okay. yeah, like, yeah, 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 okay, yeah if you're yeah. at the beach whatever but like i don't want to walk down the street and want in, the, in the blazing heat not being able to fucking do anything about it with a guy just just like just hanging hanging out so wait, wait, <laughs> oh, yeah that's true i, I agree and then that's they fair, go to the mall fair. and they wear button-up shirts sometimes and they button like the bottom too and they're like i'm wearing a shirt and i'm like you're fucking nasty <laughs> like body positivity it's fine i just think it's a double standard and i don't actually want to walk yeah. around without a shirt so on. wait would, would you be would you be okay with it if it was socially acceptable for women to walk but technically place? it is because there's a lot of places that it is it's very legal in a lot of places but we don't live in a society where anybody would let that happen normally without something happening to women yeah like, that's true. I'm, it's that's like true. a huge issue so i would yeah. just it's just like a thing i think you have to wear a shirt you're entirely right yeah unless you're at the beach yeah, if you're at the beach it's fine sure yeah, yeah but the beach is where yeah that's yeah. what where it's here for yeah exactly sure. yeah. yeah so or it's pool. more just like when you're casually walking down the street yeah if you're in your yard whatever if you're in your backyard if yeah you're, if, like, if you're at home yeah you're, but yeah, like yeah, basically so. walking with your shirt in your back pocket until you get somewhere to put it on is <laughs> yeah. weird to me i don't like it sorry yeah <laughs> no it, it makes Fair. sense it makes perfect yeah. sense yeah to me i think if i could normalize something is can we normalize being able to leave a party without having to say bye to everybody oh yeah mm. oh my god i hate doing that <laughs> like usually i'll say bye to like two people and then just look at everyone and just do this bye. like bye yeah. Yeah. and then just leave but like i'd be down sometimes to just fuck off yeah d just <laughs> yeah. a dip well it's like good to tell at least one person so they know that you're safe and you didn't just disappear or well, something yeah, 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 yeah exactly yeah, yeah. like maybe like, tell the host yeah exactly you know? But then hmm. everyone else can. Yeah. <laughs> he pulled a Ross. Yeah. God damn it. He pulled a Ross. Um, okay. What is your favorite video game of all time? Let me think about that one. <laughs> okay, so I have like my nostalgia pick, which is like the original Pokemon games, like Red and Blue. Yeah. Solid. Um, yeah. But like lately, like Last of Us Two infected my brain. I love The Last of Us as well, but just like Last of Us 1 and I 2 re yeah. affected my brain. I really so like Last of Us 2. I, I understand why it's so controversial, yeah. but I really like what the story did Me with too. it. Me oh, too. There are it. a few things that don't work, but like the the I think Ellie's story is just, it's so fucking tragic. I know. That like she it. she just let go of everything she had in life yeah. because she was too consumed by revenge. Yeah, and she just can't. Yeah. She yeah. can't let it go. She can't let she it can't go. Let it go. I think I think emotionally that's really good, and, and I love that you shit. know the <laughs> scene where Joel gets murdered is so yeah, brutal. I know it's, oh, it's so, so brutal. good. <laughs> like oh man, when when it cuts to her screaming, but like the sound just kind of dips. I know down. It's I love it. So intense. It's, it's so good. So but I understand why people were shocked by. I that know. I, I don't think it would have been as bad if the stuff hadn't leaked ahead of time because there was so much shitty stuff going on around that. Oh and, yeah, yeah. I it was still that. bad, and yeah. people were lying and saying that they played the game, and they were still calling Abby trans. And I was like, I know you didn't play the game because she's not the trans character, yeah, and it's, it's a trans her. man, not a trans woman so get the fuck out of here yeah. get out of my stream chat and the actress <laughs> who, the actress who played her got so much shit on yeah so yeah laura yeah. bailey the voice actress got a lot of shit um i think the bot like the face double got like a little bit of shit and yeah. i think that i don't the body double is like a bodybuilder so i don't know if she got the bulk of it but like laura bailey got like so much shit and i'm like i don't understand that i will never understand people going at actors for for roles they played yeah I know. and they yeah, attack yeah. them as if they're the ones who wrote the script as if they're the ones yeah. who did the thing and even if they did like it's really not that serious it's a video, it's a video game, game yeah. you know? I know and i get being worked up about it is totally fine i get worked up about stuff all the time i'm never gonna go to the actor 
and be like, what the fuck's wrong with you, yeah, dude? What is, what, what is wrong with you, yeah. specifically? Yeah, you're you a know? bad person. <laughs> you're didn't like that and that's what she was getting. She was getting death threats for yeah. voicing a character. Jesus. It's so bad. It's, it's so, so bad. fucking bad. I yeah. hate it. But yeah, no, it's that. those are good picks. Oh, those first Pokemon games. Oh, Legendary. It's so them. good. Yeah. I, I, I try to find like a Game Boy. It's really hard to it find is. out, and it's expensive. One. They're very expensive mm. now. Everything yeah. Nintendo had like a renaissance, and it's fucking like they all do. Yeah. Yeah. They like always crazy. Do. I also yeah. remember playing the. Uh, I had uh, Pokemon Emerald. Oh, yeah. that one was good. I have Emerald is really good. Yeah, and I think, but I think my favorite was uh, Silver. Me yeah, too. Silver's good. Silver's yeah, good. Soul like, Silver, bro. Yeah, the yeah. DS. Yeah, yeah. Wow. that was. Oh man. Mental. Yeah, Silver's good. I think my favorite video game is still the first Prince of Persia. Okay, yeah. Good because choice, that, that good just choice. changed my fucking life. That's actually like the first thing that came to head yes. my mind, but like I wanted to like think on it for a second. Yeah. I, Sands I, of Time? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so it's a good legendary one. game. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. Everything is good. The voice acting is really good. Like yeah. the it's just like the the, the story. The, it's just oh man. Like it's the first time that I got like really consumed by the story of a game and i was just like wow that's so good um but more recent i really liked really really liked uh resident evil biohazard okay i really mm. liked it i okay. thought it was like a good return to form because the franchise was going downhill for like yeah. a while yeah and then they were like okay we're gonna do seven we'll just kind of use it as a reboot uh village was good not as good but uh i i, I like the story i just don't I didn't find. I'm at, it got, it's got Lady Dimitrescu. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I like my Lady Dimitrescu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't play any of those. So. Uh, you know, you're not a Resident Evil person. No, I watched them. You play Resident Evil Four, and I know what happens in the first couple, but like these last two, I just they didn't interest me at all. It's just okay. me. It's for the story. Okay, the, story yeah. is, the story. Yeah. The story. That's why really I read intriguing. the story. I just had no interest in playing it. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, okay. because I don't play games, I watch them. Yeah. I watch them like movies. So when, when it has a good story that I can get into, it's like, for me, it's like watching a TV show because some people will just post like 20 oh, hours. Oh, yeah. Of I'll gameplay. watch other people oh, okay, play yeah, them yeah. and stuff. I yeah, just, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. always play. I won't play them myself sometimes. Yeah. And speaking of that, uh, there's a, this, sh this, sh game, uh, Beyond Two Souls. Yeah. With, okay. uh, Elliot yeah. Page. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. Like the story, I get why a lot of people didn't like it. They didn't like playing it because it really is more of an interactive movie. Which I like yeah. that because Heavy Rain was like Heavy that too. Rain. Heavy Rain was I like that. Yeah, exactly. I like Heavy Rain a lot. But Beyond Two Souls, really the, good, yeah. the concept of that game, do you know the story? Uh, No. The concept of it is so cool. It's like this girl who was born with a supernatural entity attached to her. The, the story is just so good and there's a twist at the end on like what the entity actually is. And it's like, wow, like it's, it's such a well thought out story. And uh, they, they did another one after that. I can't remember what it was, though. Oh, uh, Detroit, Become Human. Yeah, Detroit. Okay. Like yeah. Detroit Which, that one is human. really good. I know. There's like issues with and stuff, but it's so fun to play. Yeah, no, it's just yeah, story-wise. I like, and, like the stories and I just stuff. love these games that like your decisions will might fuck Me up too. everything. That's why yeah. I love That's Until Dawn. Until and Dawn just, like, is so love good. Until Dawn. But yeah, there's like a lot of, there's like drama around Beyond Two Souls because like, stuff involving like asking Elliot to be like naked for shoots and stuff and they promised they weren't going to put things in the game and then they did put things in the game and like oh, wow. there's just like ah. Elliot Page has gone through a lot of bullshit yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. he career. needs a break <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like the way that like Brent Ratner outed them on the cast on the set of X-Men before they knew they were gay like at the time gay oh yeah oh, okay. um it was really weird literally looked at one of the stat like the people like employees working and said something like you should fuck her so and like not trying to misgender, just at the time yeah, the quote yeah, yeah, was, at, the time, yeah, yeah, at the time, you should fuck her so she realizes she's gay. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah. That is Yowza. so fucked. Yeah, again, not trying to misgender. Yeah, it's just no, that, no, that's the course, quote yeah. at the time, just talking in the past. Nothing the, but respect yeah. for my Canadian Elliot Page. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's like super fucked. And this was like a huge X-Men cast party and like X, uh, Anna Paquin like backed it up being like, I could not believe that that is what was said and at the yeah. time like Elliot had not really considered that aspect about themselves oh, so it was that just is so sad so that's so so mad and, and they didn't want to do the movie in the first place they got begged because they like doing indie projects and stuff oh and were, right, right, right begged he was begged to be in the movie oh, man. That, and to have that bad. happen after you're begged yeah it's, it's, yeah yeah, it's, yeah, I don't think they had a good experience in Hollywood most of the time. No. But it's always it's often like that with actors who are used to doing indie projects and then they get traction and they start doing big franchise stuff. Yeah. They never have a good experience. Very rarely. Like, uh, I mean, we all know Jennifer Lawrence is just... I think she's done with same thing with X Men. Yeah. It's like same thing with X Men. I love yeah, X Men, yeah. but what is it with X Men just ruining these people? Yeah, I know, I know. The X Men movies are weird, and I I don't think that. 
a lot of the people who were on them enjoyed being on them. Yeah. I think like most of them were like kind of trapped in contracts and stuff like that. I think that's and, what happened yeah. with Jennifer Lawrence after a while. Oh yeah, I, yeah. From, from Days of Future Past, she was very adamant that she did not enjoy play, like being doing the X Men movies. Yeah, yeah she was not cool with it. Yeah, and like they changed uh, her suit every single movie because mm -hmm. she just was uncomfortable and was just not willing to do shit yeah i get it it's rough like, yeah i know like it's i feel like bad. very few people are like really equipped to like be mystique on screen and like rebecca oh, yeah. Yeah. stamos yeah. being like somebody who's in the uh, adult entertainment industry was like kind of the perfect choice because she yeah. would have been more okay being like exposed like that a little bit more so yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. weird do you, do you like all the x-men movies um I X2 was like the first movie that I remember like really like blowing my mind and stuff I, yeah. I hate Brian Singer but like I like X2 changed my life and I love X-Men 1 uh, X3 made me cry a little bit not in a positive way <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's then awful. you know I, I really liked first, Cla first Class um, uh, it was Origins Wolverine before right yeah before yeah. that movie before like that movie yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like there's most of them that I'm like I, I'm okay with most of them I hate origins um i hate apocalypse apocalypse had potential and then it just ruined it i love the scene of them at the mall for some reason just them being like x kids yeah yeah it yeah. was fun so there's like aspects i i just really love the theory that every x-men movie is on a slightly different timeline well, they, because they, they start just, they dropping continuity, continuity after a while things yeah. stop making sense it's like you already had a dark phoenix story here and now there's a different dark phoenix story and like yeah. somehow like 10 years pass between this and this but they look the same age and it's been a decade every time but we're supposed to believe that like um yeah it's like, it's like what's his yeah. face like the guy who played magneto in the newer ones but michael fassbender michael is going to turn into ian mckellen in the course of 10 years yeah, you've got a guy yeah, who yeah. looks like he's 40 <laughs> that to a guy who's in like his 80 yeah, in so 10 funny. years it's like scott so, still looks 16 yeah exactly so <laughs> but it's like, like 30 years later yeah so exactly it's 30 years between all of those like first yeah, class apocalypse and they look the and same, they look the same. Yeah. so it's just one of those things that i love the theory that they're all taking place on like a slightly different timeline i think that's the only way it can make them make exactly. sense exactly yeah. like yeah. the X-Men movie is just like they abandoned the idea of continuity so they brutally. really did they really did god damn yeah at just this point we just need someone to give him the pure love and affection that we need and hear Marvel. Yeah, I'm interested <laughs> to, to see how the yeah. MCU brings them in because there's like yeah. the really convenient, easy way where it's the multiverse brings them in, yeah. or, or people, like the or multi, so much yeah. energy being snapped up in the world like initiates like the mutant genes and stuff. But yeah, I thought that's what they were gonna do. That like when uh, Thanos snapped, or when or when Tony snapped and erased Thanos, after, it brought so much energy. Into, yeah, like, that like people just developed a mutant gene. Well, that's yeah. basically what they say in the Eternals movie, right? Like, really? Well, I'm asking. I don't know. No. Because no. I, I was like watching a lot of stuff and I know like the Eternals has a lot to do with the X gene. No. Because of the uh, the Celestials. I don't think the Celestials no. have something to do with the X gene. No, they don't say anything like that as far as they I know. No. no. Okay. Well, we'll see. Maybe, well, it maybe it's a be. thing in the comics well, it's but like I the know, thing, that I don't know about. The thing with like the whole thing in Eternals, the whole idea of the Celestials is that they create universes. So like you have to birth them to create new universes and like it causes a lot of destruction but i don't remember them saying anything that would tie into the x genes okay because okay. they yeah. gave I, the eternals I, powers but they designed the eternals that's a spoiler well no yeah i mean i, I already <laughs> yeah. i already kind of already knew that yeah but, like, but either way just, like for some reason i remember reading somewhere how like the the creation of the eternals is also what introduces like the x gene in humanity like that might be a theory. Yeah, probably. Okay, maybe. All right. Because I don't think so. I thought that you like it. Well, they might have retconned it over the years, but like as far as I know, the X gene was always just kind of like that next stage in human evolution. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. that's Fair usually enough. what it is. Yeah. yeah. Either way, that could be what it, that might be what they do for this. It would make sense if they're yeah, introducing probably. the Celestials. Yeah. That is another maybe. really easy way. Yeah. Yeah. To make that work. Oh, it could be. Um, this is big spoilers, but by the time this episode comes out. Oh yeah. Eternal it'll, it'll, spoilers. It'll, maybe we'll have a timestamp down below to jump ahead. Yeah. Um. Do you care? I don't. Go. Okay, so it's like the world ending story in this is that like they have to birth a celestial and they get planted into the core of planets and then when they're mm -hmm. ready to be born they explode out of the planet and then right. the planet dies. So maybe it's because if they didn't explode Tiamat there's all this extra energy oh, on the like planet. The celestial, celestial energy. Celestial yeah. energy on yeah. Earth and then it kicked off mutant genes in certain people. Like that could be. Yeah. That, that, could, be, that, that could, could be it. Thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm just I'm really interested to see how they're gonna do it. Yeah. I, I am tired of people every Marvel project being like, oh, this is how they're gonna do the X Men because that first of all that guy's Mephisto. There's always one Mephisto. Yeah, oh, I know, I know. One always, Mephisto. One, always. <laughs> now people are thinking it's uh, it's Doctor Strange in uh, No Way Home because yeah. he doesn't look like himself or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he's not acting the same. As <laughs> if one, it's one, actually one. Mephisto, I will come back on this podcast and apologize. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <there laughs> but it's go. not gonna be him. 
Okay, well, I think uh, that'll be it for this episode. I think we've been going for a minute. We have. Oh, yeah. have we? Yeah. 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 Probably about exact an hour, I think. Oh, yeah. cool. Right. About. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. guys, nice as always, me. thank you for watching Mothership. That was me, Friendly Space Ninja, Bruno the Commander, Amanda the Jedi. So, yeah, all our links is in the description. And uh, thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye -bye. Stay sexy.